officially move in day today. I am moving to Toronto. It's kind of a long story and situation, but basically I ended up finding a pretty nice like off-campus housing for my university. I thought that it would just be a really great opportunity to meet people, to get used to the campus and all that stuff. But yeah, today's video is going to be like a university move-in vlog. It is about 10 a.m. right now and my move-in slot is at 12 p.m. So we have a couple hours. It takes like an hour for me to get to Toronto, but we still have to pack the car so I'll show you guys that because we have a lot of boxes and I'm not necessarily sure that they're all gonna fit so we'll have to see how that turns out so we got the car all packed and now we're just about to leave I gotta say bye to the cats and also I think we're stopping at Ikea on the way because I want to get some more plants and stuff like that to decorate apartment we had a bit of a hassle trying to unload our stuff because there's not really anywhere to park so we had to like put it in the entry and then move it up the elevators and now it's sitting in the hallway but this is the apartment that i'm in right now i'll give you guys like a little tour later probably but right now we're just going to move all the actual boxes in here Think of you. no AC but now we're gonna take a little food break I think we're gonna go to basil box but yeah so far we only really have the bed done I'm gonna try and like get the kitchen stuff done when we get back So I'll give you guys a bit of an update. My bed has kind of stayed the same. We ended up getting a little fan because it's really hot in here. I put away most of the stuff in the kitchen and then I still need to put a lot of the stuff in the bathroom away, but we did get like the shower curtain and stuff put up. But yeah, I still have a fair bit of like more so organizing than unpacking to do because everything's kind of unpacked. It's just like sitting on surfaces. But right now I think I'm just gonna focus on getting all of my like clothes and just my closet organized. bathroom as you guys can tell i haven't really showed you much of what's in here pretty much everything is still just on the counter but i'm probably gonna put like the towels away and then organize all this stuff into the drawers and then in the shower there's this little like shower caddy that we hung up so i'm probably gonna put like my bar of soap there and whatever else i have
next day now, I thought I would give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, my hair is wet because I just took my first shower in the new apartment, but I ended up changing like my bed layout. So this is kind of what it looks like now. My bed used to be this way. So it's on this wall now. And then obviously I put my nightstand here, but pretty much everything else is the same. So I think right now I'm going to focus on a couple of like the wall decorations. So it is a few days later and I have yet again changed the layout of my room just a little bit. I ended up putting my dresser on this side. I'm not sure why, but having the desk there was just kind of throwing it off. So I put the desk over here with my like dining table. Yeah, today I'm gonna try and hang up all of the posters and different like wall hangings and stuff that I got. So I have this little butterfly one and I think I'm gonna put it above my dresser. And then I have two other ones that I think I'm gonna put side by side above this dining table. And then after that, I have another map macrame to hang up and a couple little frames. So I'm gonna just try to get the posters up first and then see where everything else fits. macrame on the wall next to my bed but i just don't like it there and it's kind of like really long to put there so i've decided that i'm going to put it in my bathroom there's pretty much nothing in here other than like my towels so i think i'm going to put it right here above the toilet because this is like a very big wall putting up all the wall decorations so i thought i would give you guys a little tour i'm not going to go too in depth because not everything is like completed 100 percent there's still a couple things that i want to get so i'll probably do like a full video dedicated to like an apartment tour but for now i'll just give you guys a little overview So this is the front door of my apartment and then the first thing you see when you come in is just this like hallway. I have this little like hallway runner that I got from HomeSense and then this first door here is my bathroom. I just have a little bath mat and then this is like my vanity. I have most of my skincare products in this little basket and then there's this really big mirror which is great because I don't have any other mirrors yet. That's one of the things that I want to get. There's a lot of storage here that I haven't even used. Like these are pretty much all empty. I just have an extra bath towel here and then my hand towel and then I ended up hanging up my macrame and then behind the door is the shower. I just have a white little shower curtain and then a shower caddy with um, my like shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and soap. And then on the back of the bathroom door, I just have this little over the door hanger with my bath towel. So coming out of the bathroom, if we go down the hallway, this next door is the closet. It's pretty messy, so I'm not really gonna show you guys in depth, but over here, I just mostly have like cleaning supplies and then just some like miscellaneous stuff. I have my like hoodies, jackets, and jeans hung up and then the shoes that I brought. And then coming out of the closet, um, it kind of just opens up into the whole like living area. I'm not sure if I ever mentioned, but this is a studio apartment. So it's basically just the one room, which it's actually really cute and I love it. So I'm fine with not having like a designated bedroom and living room because it's just me. So like, I don't really need that much space. Um, but yeah, just wanted to put that in there. I'll show you guys the kitchen first. It is missing the oven. They're all on back order. So like the oven and stove isn't here yet, but they supplied us with these little like stove top hot plate things. So I've been doing my cooking on there. But yeah, there's actually a fair bit of storage in here and I've been able to fit pretty much everything in the cupboards. And then on the countertops, I just have like some random stuff, knives and chopping boards. And I have a toaster over here and a little kettle for tea. And then I have a very big fridge with a freezer, which is super nice. And then on the other side of the kitchen is my little dining table. So up here, I ended up hanging one of these posters that I got. And then I also put these two little frames. And then on the table here, I just have a plant and a little tea light holder. I think I want to get like some little wicker placemats or something just to break up all the white. But yeah, it just has these two little stools. And then I'm also hanging my tote bag there for now. And then I guess the rest of this room is basically my bedroom and office. This area is definitely not done. I need to get some sort of like desk storage and 
and I don't know, just some like plants or something to put on top of here. But I just have these two little wicker baskets and then I have my laptop and just some notebooks and this really good smelling candle from HomeSense. And that's pretty much it that's on this side of the wall. I think I wanna get some sort of like bookshelf or something to put at the end of this bed. But moving on to the other side of my room, I have my dresser. This is just like a standard Ikea dresser. This room came furnished, so that was really nice. I didn't have to provide any of the furniture. But above the dresser, I have another one of these posters. I really like how they have like kind of a vintage look. And then on top of my dresser, it's pretty simple. I just have this little plant that I got from Ikea, some of my favorite books that I brought with me, a couple candles, and also some of my jewelry, but I think I wanna get like a little dish or something to put my jewelry in. And then we have my bed area. I brought my salt lamp from home. And then I have another little plant on here, a tea light and the book that I'm currently reading, which is really good. Totally recommend it if you guys need a book to read. And then we have my bed. I went with this very light green striped bedding because there was a lot of white in here. So I thought having a solid white comforter would be a little too much, but yeah, all of this bedding is from Ikea. I have another little green throw pillow on here and also this little green throw blanket on the end of my bed. And then over in this corner, I just have some little wall hangings. You guys saw that I hung up my pothos plant in this little macrame hanger, which I think is really cute. And then the other side of my bed is just this collage wall. Pretty much all of these are just printed out from Pinterest, but the one on the very top, I actually got in Quebec City at some random little shop. So that's pretty much that whole area. I was actually gonna hang posters above my bed, but they ended up looking weird. So I think maybe I'll get like a little banner. And then this last little corner of my room, like I said, is pretty empty. I definitely want to get something to put here. I was also thinking of getting like a little stool for the corner that I could put another plant on. For now, I just have this little poppy poster. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour and the entire video. This is the end of my university move-in vlog slash setting up my new apartment. It has been kind of a hectic few days moving in here and just getting everything set up. But yeah, I'm really happy with how the place turned out. And I'm really excited to film more videos in here. I haven't posted in quite a few weeks just because all this has been really crazy and I haven't really had much time to film. Yeah, I'm going to try to get back on the schedule of posting a vlog every single week or just a video every single week. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of the new content coming. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time for another video.